So we are two and three. I think it goes without saying that the last few games could have gone a little bit better for us. The offense has stalled at times, but the defense has really been awful. A lot of you guys want uh, to trade Amani Uruwarie just because he's a superstar X-Factor corner that just keeps getting torched. I'd love to change their roles. So that's what I'm going to do here. You know, we've had some pretty high scoring games, right? It's just we've allowed a lot of points over the last three weeks, and that might not change here today playing a very talented Bucks team. But we're going to see what we can do. And when I say changing their roles, changing the way the team looks a little bit, Cameron Ford has played so unbelievably well these past few weeks that I am going to promote him to CB1 and change the matchups. So Oruwariye is going to be matched up against receiver twos more often than not, and Cameron Ford is going to be against receiver ones. He's played, you know, outstanding. And this could be the week we find out what his development trade is, although I think it will be probably more likely two weeks from now until we get to 500 total snaps. So week six, we got a prospect spotlight here to start off. And uh, it's free safety Orlando Beecham. So sometimes they'll tell you to take a look at a player and they're just, they just end up being terrible. Hopefully that's not the case here. But we'll check him out, Orlando Beecham. I think it's just random, honestly. I don't really know if it has like any type of bearing on dev trait or anything. Looks okay. Late first rounder available in the third. You know, that's actually a good one. We'll, we'll go ahead and watch him because why not? We checked out receivers recently. Let's go ahead and continue that trend. Dwight Cook from LSU looks pretty good. 5'9", 175. That's like our uh, our next Rashad Reese. We'll put him on the on the watch list. Mike Hargrove looks like a very different type of receiver, but also pretty good in there. Good value for the second round, for sure. Luke Rodriguez, not so much. Joshua Dial, not so much. But there are some decent receivers in this class, for sure. Locker room crisis in confidence let's see here tyro williams hasn't been as productive as he was hoping to be uh i'm gonna be honest tyrell i don't really think that uh you're gonna get super involved it's just you know aging receiver the nature of the game and uh he's gonna have plus five catching and catching traffic this week okay well i don't really know how much that's gonna factor uh there have also been suggestions for a while now to get Chris Godwin in the slot to get him more involved just the way the offense operates with the two like running backs and Rashad Reese playing slot receiver I don't really view Reese as someone that is going to play outside receiver so if we put Chris Godwin in the slot Rashad Reese's role is now like purely running back two and to me that's you know, certainly a less effective role for him. So I'm going to keep things as is. Jeff Okuda's played pretty well in the slot. I do have to remember to change sub linebacker. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, pop into this game. Is Tom Brady still on the Bucks? Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. They're still a really highly rated team. 85 offense, 88 defense for 86 overall. But how good are they actually? It's going to depend on quarterback, I think, a lot. So let's see who's... Uh, Who's starting at QB? Gardner Minshew. Uh, okay. So, they've got a really, really good team. Other than their quarterback is Gardner Minshew. Offensive line's quite good. They drafted Aaron Jones out of Georgia. They have Alden Smith. It's a really interesting team. I mean, they, they drafted Andrew Blaylock, who we did a profile on too. Um, Antoine Winfield Jr., Jordan Whitehead. It's a really good defense, but they have big, big, big problems at left tackle and QB. And we're going to look to exploit that and really try and get after the QB here. I think one interception is feasible based on the way we've played the last couple weeks. I think Cameron Ford's probably capable, uh, capable of doing that just by himself. So we'll do get one interception this week for our goal. And... Hopefully get a couple upgrade points before popping into this game. Hopefully no injuries as well. Turf toe for Cameron Ford. There you go. So <laughs> that is unfortunate. Big few weeks in a row for the rookie. Nearing on knowing his development trait. 
and it looks like there's a chance he's going to miss this game. Turf Toe probably going to sideline him for this week. And it does. That's uh, super annoying. Upgrades, though, for a lot of the team. What do we have for Panay Sewell? Morale's affecting the team. We've lost three in a row, and already their attributes are starting to take a hit. So we got to get back in the win column today. It's going to be super important to win this game. Plus one run block is nice. Uh, a couple other players in here, like BJ Dickerson. You know, number of things you could say about him, but coverage is uh, definitely going down on BJ. So we need to stop getting him to blow these coverages and upgrade zone and hopefully get that back into, uh, you know, respectable area. Plus one speed along with plus one zone coverage. 92 speed for BJ. You know, speed is underrated in that department. You know, sometimes you just want to get in and out. Um, and then coverage for Brian Davis is going to be super important. Again, we're, we're thinking about, you know, following the storyline where he bulks up a little bit. Uh, and ends up moving the linebacker because right now you know if you don't even count morale his own coverage is only 70 and that's quite poor okay let's get it bucks lions a lot on the line here we need to get back in the win column <laughs> like morale is going to kill the team i think that's a big part of why we kept losing last year is the worse we played the worse we would play in the future with morale because the ratings just take a dive. But the name of the game is going to be Pressure Gardner Minshew. Make him play badly. I know it is Madden as we get bumped there. Big hit by Dick. Or Sin. BJ Dickerson. We just got to... Uh, we just got to make him play like a bad QB. Like, in all Madden... You know... Ah! Dickerson again with the tackle. On all Madden, bad quarterbacks will play like great QBs. And that's a really, really big problem. And so far, I've not been able to cover guys at all. The change of direction is just so bad. That's going to be open. And nice tackle by Anthony Walker Jr. To run! It's play action! Minshew going down! Guess who? BJ Dickerson coming in for the sack. Let's go, BJ. It's already been around the football a lot so far. It's third and eight. Gonna need to play some pretty good coverage. Minshew working out of the gun. And that's gonna be a check down to the running back. And I think he's gonna get it. Just a perfect check down. To run again? Oh man, how are we not making that tackle? I just, the X should be like if you're right on him, animate and make the tackle. That's what the whole tackle button should be. I can't switch. I'm I'm hitting switch. I it's not letting me switch on. Oh my goodness. All right. Good tackle Braxton Turner. And that's going to be fourth down and a long field goal attempt for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is a really long field goal. It is in the dome. It is makeable, but that kick is no good. Short I was really bold to try that, and Carlson just didn't quite have the leg. We're going to take over at midfield. This is a really good defense. It's tough to know how we're going to try and exploit them for yardage, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Or we won't, and we'll lose, which we've you know done a million times. We're going to throw deep for Richie Owens. He makes the catch. What is Jordan Whitehead doing? Dangerous throw to Richie Owens, but he came down with it. We got to take another look at that. That's a really tight window. Been picked off on that before. But Jordan Whitehead just doing his best Marcus Williams impression. And Stefan Diggs. And uh, I don't know. We're going to move the chains. We'll take it. I'm not complaining. DeAndre Swift. Man, that's a really good tackle by Antoine Winfield to save a touchdown. I really thought we were going to get in there. It's third and one. I feel like just trusting the slant here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Throwing down. Richie Owens can't catch it. Fourth and one from the three. Yeah, I, I do like going for it here. Should we try a QB sneak? Don't really go to this a lot. Very scared to do this against uh, Vita Vea. We need a big time block. Garrison falls forward. Got it and more. Down to the one. 
Gonna try to run this time away from Vita Vea. DeAndre Swift breaks the tackle, touchdown. Let's go, Swifty. All right, this is not a bad start to the game for us. Big stop on defense, technically, with the missed field goal. And then we just drove down the field. Wasn't the prettiest drive, but we got the result we wanted in the end. To run? Oh, look at that play by Duran Payne. It's in there with Braxton Turner, too, but that's a great play by the nose. Make a play. Oh, Richard Russell with the square tackle, diving at his ankles and making an awesome stop. Wide open, and he just stepped out of bounds. I don't really know who's supposed to be covering him on that. It looks like the safety should probably be coming down to make that play. I don't know if in a hook zone I'm supposed to go over to the flat with the linebacker. I guess it would have been a high IQ play, but I just was more content on staying in my zone. And we we're very lucky he stepped out of bounds because it would have been a huge game. That looks open enough. TJ Hawkinson has his ankles clipped by a last ditch diving effort from Levante David. Is this a good time for an RPO? Probably not. We're gonna throw the bubble screen. It, it wasn't the right read. With the RPOs though, I feel like you have to make that decision so early. Because we've thrown it like immediately before. It turns out just an RPO is just not a good play call in that situation or ever. They're terrible in the game. I'm sure there's one or two that one of you guys likes that, that works well for you. But they're just so bad. The timing's bad. The offensive linemen get up the field so quickly and it's a penalty in the game where it never gets called in real life when the linemen are like past a yard. So it, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have to throw it like actually without thinking. And we did that there and it did not work out. As down goes Minshew, it's Russ Clements taking advantage of a very bad Donovan Smith at this point in his career. He was getting ready to go super deep. Didn't have the opportunity. Third and super long. Just check down. What they're going to do. Sheffield. Nice tackle. Had a little bit of help as well from the rookie Brian Davis. And Tampa will punt. Richie Owens, not a bad little return here. To not, not a bad return at all. That's a really nice run. Six yards, but, it, you know, just the, just the tough yards in there from DeAndre Swift that could be the difference in this game. Gonna run the ball again, hopefully away from Vita Vea. Nice little cutback with Rashad Reeves and a broken tackle and a first down. Third and nine. Ah, just checked down right into a right into a flat. Antoine Winfield, I don't know how he had that responsibility. He played that really, really well. And we're gonna have to punt. Minshew currently has no incompletions, by the way. Eight for eight. Or 78 yards, maybe? And that's going to be open. Or a Warrior just froze. And Mike Evans is breaking tackles. All right. Nine for nine for 100 yards now. Massive gain for Mike Evans. Let's beat man coverage. Turner, big hit on Rojo. And unlike real life, he's not going to fumble. Oh, that's a super nice play by Romeo Aquara. Rojo, seven rushes for negative one yards. They cannot run the ball against this front seven. Third and 13. We're showing blitz. We're getting back. Minshew, check down, out of bounds, incomplete. Do they try a field goal again from the 40? They're going to go for it. They're going to go for the field goal. Still super long. Does Carlson have a leg this time? He most certainly does not. Shanked left, and we're going to take back over on offense again. Nice little check down. Uh, Rashad Reese needed to break that tackle, and he did. Another broken tackle on the spin. This is a lot of check down offense. That's why Rashad Reese gets as involved as he does. Just don't feel comfortable pushing it down the field a lot of the time. That's how we throw interceptions. So, throw on the run there. Can't do it. Godwin's open enough. We're going to throw it. Stiff arm and don't really get much. Third and nine. Who's getting open for me? That's open enough. TJ, turn at the field. 
He's going to be just short, I think. No, they're going to give us the first. Okay. Second and five. Good block by Ragnow. Swift to the open field. And he is wrapped up at the seven. We throw this. Garrison. Oh, my God. Thank you. That, that fall is incomplete. I don't know. I, I get that it's on the run. It's not the easiest throw to make. But um, it's just so behind where it should have been pass led to. We're going to go for Godwin. And are they going to call that offensive pass interference? There's no way Levante David can be expected to play coverage like that. Was that Levante David? I can't imagine it was. They're calling pass interference. Is that on the offense? No. They're going to... Oh, it's Jamel Dean in coverage. We're going to uh, decline that and take the touchdown. Chris Godwin, TD. Weird play. I don't know why they showed Levante David right after. Is he in coverage there on the outside? Well, we'll gladly have the Chris Godwin TD. It's wide open in the flat. Tampa is moving the ball here. Get after him. Okwara diving at the legs made the play. Another sack of Gardner Minshew. We need more of those, though. We need way more. We're going to back off here on second and 23. Just so we don't get cooked in man. And oh my goodness, what is that? Got cooked in man. I'm on Brian Davis. I uh, tried to go for the pick just to press the button out of position. And we got a weird lunge and then couldn't make the tackle. Classic. That looks open enough. TJ, first down. You get out of bounds now. That clock's going to keep moving. We're going to call a timeout. End of the first half. You know, I think we played well. The one touchdown was just me out of position in man coverage with uh, Brian Davis, who can't play man coverage anyway. Yeah, I just, uh, it's unfortunate. Second and 11. They're playing so underneath, and I'm just so accustomed to throwing underneath with how our offense goes, but they're, they're covering that. So do I have to try and start stretching the field a little bit more? Didn't really like my options. The classic rollout. I'm going to throw it anyway. We got Chris Godwin, and it's intercepted out of bounds. Carlton Davis takes it away. It works the same as an arm punt. I'm, like, pretty content with it. Down goes Minshew. Russ Clemens again. Making a really nice play. I have a huge problem with these new headphones. They're, like, so noise-canceling that I struggle to hear myself talk. And I don't know if you guys have tried to do that before, but it's it's a challenge when you can barely hear yourself and you still have to enunciate and pronounce things and 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 speak. I know it's a big me problem there as we'll check down per usual. But it is a it's a problem. I feel like my offense has been pretty much non-existent today. We're gonna throw for Richie Owens first down. I'm just so bad on offense. I know that's not why you guys watch the series, although there there are a few of you that, uh, oh man, I can't even watch this guy play the game. It's like, yeah, I, come on, stop. No one's watching for that reason. I'm going to be bad. I'm going to not know what to do. As I'm getting sacked, try to throw it away. Great. Um, second and 20, like that's a classic example, although I feel like with the sliders that I play on, I've showed them before, uh, in order to make these games tighter and, and more entertaining so it's not a blowout every time, uh, it's challenging, and I'm, I'm sure I do miss guys down the field. Like, Godwin, I can't throw that. I can't throw that. Like, we have a second where he's open and wide open because they're in the flat, but the safety's there. I can't just lob it up. It's uh, it's frustrating. I, I do miss things, but it's very easy when you're looking at a small screen to see the entire field. But when you're actually, you know, playing the game as we're going to try and get out with Garrison, throw it away. I can't see the entire field at once, right? You gotta, you gotta scan. So uh, I, I miss things. It, it happens, and the offense, I'm sure, takes a huge hit for that. Uh, I'm bad at the game. Like I feel like I have to say this every single like other week. It's like new people come in. It's like, didn't you know this guy's bad at the game? Still love you. That's or uh, I, I can barely stand to watch this anymore. All right, I got a great piece of advice then. Don't. I, I'm not gonna be worried about it. Is Mike Evans the most elusive ball carrier in the game? This guy doesn't go down. 
Uruwarie in coverage and probably would have given it up with an accurate throw. Tampa going to try a field goal. It's been a really low scoring game. Both offenses have uh, struggled a lot. And this field goal finally is good from Carlson. We're only up by four. We got to score. There's so many times where you come out and play pretty well in the first half. Maybe not as well as we would like to, but like pretty well. And then don't score at all in the second half. I can count the number of times, you know, probably on multiple hands that we've not scored at all in the second half in this series. So we just got to be better. We got to get something on the board here. Second and nine, we're going to try and get crazy here with a jet touch pass. Just get the ball in the hands of one of our best playmakers and see what he can do. It's decent blocks. Look at Tyrell Williams. Try to juke back and get extra, but we probably had the first. We just ran for it. Third and one. Up the field, swift first down. It's always bold when you do that. I get a tip to run in between the tackle and the guard a lot. It's like that's where the linebacker usually is. It's like there's no uh there's no just do this and you'll be successful every time. It's not how that works. I still delay there with Hawk. It's three. I really, really, really want points on this drive. Hopefully somebody gets open. It's kind of what it, and even more than that, hopefully I see them. I, I don't like the Rashad Reese throw. I don't like it. I like that better. Or there's Rashad Reese. Who was open down the field? Was that DeAndre Swift, maybe? Just didn't like the lob up to him. I Like, I, I see these things. A lot of the times, you just can't make that throw. They've been so locked down underneath. That one looks open enough for Richie Owens. Should set up a first down with a run. But I always get so worried about actually running the ball, especially against this type of defensive line. It's just so tough to do that successfully we get it with deandre swift that's super open dude oh man their corners as vita vea goes down that's gonna help with running the football good job whoever did that they're just playing the flat every time and i keep just throwing to the flat you would think i would learn by now well it's super open this time with tj first down but it's just i gotta start I don't know. With their pass rush, it's tough to find the time to throw longer down the field. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We're just going to hopefully keep doing what we're doing and, and find success. And we're going to fumble. Picked up by DeAndre Swift. I tried to throw to TJ Hawkinson, and it just didn't come out. Third and goal. It's just threw it too late, and it's intercepted. Uh, we needed to predict that he was going to get open and throw the ball before he made the break, I guess. Throw at a sack interception. Those are just so frustrating. Down goes Minshew. It's Russ Clemens for the third time today. Minshew is all day. He's lobbing it up deep. Orowarie, please get in position. The pass thankfully falls incomplete and they will punt. Man, this offense has been so frustrating. Just uh, just not executing. We only have 14 points, two interceptions with Garrison. I mean, it's the, the usual, right? Let's see if we can time this better. And look for uh, Tyrell Williams here on the, the long out. He's got to throw the ball earlier. I don't think that's open. Maybe the flat is the read that time. Oh, Owens broke a tackle. Didn't do much with it, though. Vita Vey is out. I'm cool running the ball on second and long. They lost their big nose tackle. Rashad Reese puts the football on the ground. Owens diving. Can't make the tackle. Antoine Winfield Jr. houses it. Jesus. Tampa now with uh, full momentum and the lead. And it's our third turnover of the game. Screen to Reese. Give me some blocks. There's going to be a hold. Anytime we have a successful play, it's got to be negated, right? Taylor Decker. Classic. Classic. And Garrison puts the ball on the ground. Uh, Tried to just step up and scramble for it and then didn't get the slide down in time. And that that's going to be a game-losing fumble, probably. Down goes Minshew. Braxton Turner got to him. We're not out of this thing yet. 
We just, uh, and I, I can't come out in man coverage. This, it, the team just is too bad. We gotta do something on third and 18 to get pressure, though. It's gonna be open over the middle. Big hit! Ball's on the ground! Braxton Turner recovers! Oh, huge hit fumble by the rookie linebacker. And we have a chance now. We have four turnovers in the game. Two fumbles, two picks. Look at Tyrell Williams go. Hey, that's a nice play. Gonna take us to the two minute warning. Full momentum as well for uh, Tampa Bay. It's gonna be nearly impossible to come back. Need a big play by Godwin. It's intercepted. Cause one on one, it's always gonna be an interception. Nice. And that's the game. We're gonna lose 24-14. Just couldn't uh, move the ball. And of course, as I said, we had a second half where we didn't even score. So that's great. Couldn't run the ball. 2.9 per carry with DeAndre Swift. Rashad Reese had a little bit more success, but small sample size. Uh, and still only four yards per carry. Passing, it was a disgustingly bad performance, including four interceptions. Uh, I, again, I'm, I'm sure there were things that were open. Uh, I just didn't see them. Ever. It felt like things were covered all the time. And they were so good underneath. And that's our offense, is throwing the ball underneath. And we couldn't really do that today at all. And... Um, yeah, just uh, just sucked. So we dropped four in a row. The offense just uh, didn't play well today, and that's uh, it's on me, of course. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.